So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can do uh, override the read through filters on a page so you can show both the forest and the tree. Let me show you. Okay, so as you can see on this page, the category names available are all of, the, all of these. Uh, I have a filter by the category name condiments and I can still see all of them. And this is a great way to compare one against the others on a read through page. So how did I do it? Let me show you. Okay, so we're going to build it on this report. I have here the first page. I'm going to pick, I don't know, beverages, dairy products. <laughs> I know. Uh, drift through details, it filters by that. You can see here, I have turn off keyboard filter. So we just manage one. You can manage more if you want to. It's the same technique. And as you can see, I have here sales accumulated by month. And it's only showing me by the dairy products because this is a drill through filter. It means that all this page will be filtered by that. So how do I override it so I can show all the categories, not only the dairy product? Okay, so let's create a measure first that overrides the filter. So we're going to table, go to new measure. We're going to call it sales um, accumulated current year. And then I like to put already on the title what the things that so people are aware that this is a very special measure override drill through filter on category level you could actually add a comment which you should but to avoid making the video so long calculate oh my god no intelligence either is it there it annoys me or it's not there at all so sales current year accumulated and then we're going to do all so we're going to override the can you please <sighs> so annoying where is it sales and then here i'm going to thank you very much do all and then category name so we're going to say okay override the category filter that has been applied to this measure. Now, if you're now going in here and you change that, you're going to see that nothing happens. We still have problems. Why? Because the filter is being applied to the category table, but that has not changed. So what we need to do is we need to go back to the model and we're going to grab from the categories table two columns, the category name because we need it, and then the category ID, because that's the one that is connected to the product ID. I'll show you to the product table. So we need these two tables. So we go to new sources, blank query. And then I'm going to call this. Uh, we are going to base it on categories. And then I need two columns. You, if you put the double square, you will convert it to a table directly. So we need category name. And then we need the um, category ID. I don't remember if it's a space or not, but we will find out soon enough. Yeah, okay. So, and then you give it a name to the table, override filters. I would like to have like super weird names so people are aware that, hey, something's going on in here. This is probably a hack. Close and apply. And now you need to be mindful about the relationships that are created. If you have the relationship thing on, you know, that to create automatic relationships, um, I think it's on at the moment. So you need to be mindful of that. And it is on. So here we have the new table. What you need to do is to change these relationships. I don't want to connect category name with category. I want to connect it directly to product. So if I go to the product table, and connect these two. Go back here and now put as a legend category name. And voila, there we have them. Now, what I'd like to do too is move this special measure to my new weird override filter stable and then hide everything. So here I would go and hide because people shouldn't need that. But now you can see that I have all the colors and all the categories, even though this is a drill page. Now, 
to create the effect that I did with, you know, the gray and the, let me show you. To create this, I already have a video about it. Not possible to do it with Power BI in a way that makes actually sense. So I've used Charticulator, used something else, but this is the way that it would make sense to do it because you can easily compare different categories in that creative page. I think it's really, really cool. So let me know what you think and I'll see you again on the next video.